at Chester train station. Spent a while trying to find this location because of the rain, we wanted somewhere with shelter. Over here is what we're painting. We've, we've got a lovely view here of the train tracks, very industrial. Um, obviously the rain was a problem, but we decided to turn it into a positive by using the sort of reflection in the puddles and things like that. So I think it's gonna be a really nice painting. So let's go. I'm just waiting for this thing to go. Can the two guys standing on the platform painting go away? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, James forgot to bring one of the batteries for the camera. Uh, silly James. But then I can't really have a go because I forgot to bring water, which I need to paint. Okay. This is gonna be a hard video to film. <laughs> well, while we're waiting for the battery to arrive, um, I guess I can just start sketching in. So, uh, but first I'm gonna do the same thing I did in my last video, um, save time, and I'm gonna get a reference photo for the sketch using my phone, because why not? Okay. Excuse me. God, I've gotten to an age now where phones don't work for me anymore. There we go. <laughs> right. So starting a painting, I find it really useful to just do these, this, it's almost a map of the painting. And I do these big dark sketches that just block out the bits of the painting, the bare bones of it. And then in any part in the painting that is, you know, my darkest darks, I'll start getting them in because I'm already sketching using a dark color. So, these posts here, I know that they're holding up this shelter, but I don't like them there. And this is my world now. It's my painting, so I'm getting rid of them. They could be supported further down here, so it's I can still have realism even though they're, they're not there. But yeah, don't like them, so they're going.
of a new one for me, painting all of these puddles. Um, it's something I really, really want to be able to do. I'm used to painting like the odd one puddle, but that's easy because that's just intense versions of the color, surrounding colors in that puddle. But here, it's like I'm drawing one main puddle with bits of non-puddle coming out. Um, so it's a bit of a challenge. I don't know if I'm the only one who finds this, but I find when you're doing a painting, what happens is you go through a period of feeling like the painting's lost and you're not gonna get it back. And then the next moment something happens and you're like, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. And, and it just keeps going back and forth like that. So my advice to myself is not to be disheartened when it starts going the wrong way. Just keep going because you'll pull it back. It's so quiet here. It's like, this is, it's called like a simulation place. I don't know what it is in my head. I've assumed that this is where people who drive trains learn to do things and take part in simulations, but it's like, well, cool here. If you like painting trains or viewing trains, nothing's moved, hardly anyone's come past. It's perfect. Uh, so you might notice that we've not done a video for a few weeks. This is just because we've been so busy with our day jobs. Um, but if you want to keep up to date with, you know, when we're bringing out videos, the best way to do that is to hit the subscribe button. Uh, and that also just helps us out because the more subscribers we've got, the better. Um, so subscribe. <laughs> I totally forgot what I was saying. Oh, and remember to comment as well, because we absolutely love reading the comments. Okay, we're, we're getting to a point now. I'll wait. <laughs> Heard this quite a lot today. 
Okay, we are getting to a point now where it's going to be calling it a day on this painting. I'm just going to add a few last details, see whether I can just pull in a few more things that I think will finish it off. I'm going to call it a day now. I learned a lot from this painting. It didn't quite turn out as I had hoped it would. Um, something that James had mentioned earlier, which I agree with, is that maybe using the gouache isn't giving me the saturation or the vibrancy that I need out of the colour. So in our next video, I'm going to try painting in acrylic. But we've got, uh, you know, the depth in there. I like the way these puddles have turned out for my first try doing them. Um, and I've learned a lot from it and I got out and painted and that's what's important. So I'll see you next time.